Hi there guys, this is me testing out the facial motion capture by FaceShift. I'm using the Xbox Connect and FaceShift software with the plugin for Motion Builder so I can transfer this onto my own character. Uh, so I'm just going to try out some facial expressions and see how it goes. Uh, so here we go. Yeah, that'll do. I'll see. I'll try and map this to a character now and see how it goes. Right then, uh, I've managed to map the motion capture to this character that I got uh, from Autodesk's Character Generator app. Um, it comes fully rigged with a variety of blend shapes. Uh, I imported the character into Motion Builder and then used FaceShift plugin to import the motion capture. Uh, you have to match each blend shape to the facial expression that the plugin provides, and then you can either bake what you've already recorded onto the character, or you have a live link from FaceShift software, and you can record whatever you want within Motion Builder. Uh, so that that's really like, quite efficient, and I quite, quite like this uh, the workflow on it. Uh, after doing this, I discovered a way of actually mapping it without using uh, FaceShift plugin. Um, Motion Builder has a built-in character face device with the predetermined expressions, and all you have to do is make the blend shapes within Max or Maya, and then target them to the correct expressions within Motion Builder. This then allowed me to uh, either key expressions or import motion capture onto the face. Um, so this is the way I'll have to do it if I'm going to use it, use this in my university project, um, as the project brief does specify that we aren't allowed to use plugins within our software. It's got to be just pure software. Um, as you can see in the video, a lot of the exaggeration has been lost during the mapping process. Uh, this is because of the quality of the blend shapes, and it's been pretty tricky to link them all together due to the naming convention that they followed. Um, this just emphasises, you know, the, the the importance of workflow within your software. It's like so important to get the naming conventions right, otherwise you just can't see what you're working for. Um, uh, but for my first attempt, though, I think it's gone very well. Um, I'll be experimenting a little bit further with it, and hopefully I'll be able to produce some quality animations using it. Uh, but thanks very much for watching. Bye!